The goal here is to introduce the Isaac model without going into details about its solution. Suppose we have a system of n sites with two possible states. That could, for instance, represent localized spins one half that can be either up or down. Importantly, any two neighboring sites are coupled via an interaction minus j. In this way, a positive value for j favors parallel alignment of the neighboring states. Additionally, we could think of a term to manipulate the state at each side individually. In the case of localized spins, this can be achieved by an external magnetic field. For a thorough discussion, check out our videos on non-interacting spins. Basically, in the presence of a magnetic field, the magnetic moments will tend to align. The system can be described in terms of this Hamiltonian. The first term corresponds to the system coupling to an external magnetic field, B. We rotate our point of view so that the B field points in Z direction. G, S and mu B are just numeric factors. If you want to find out more, they are called spin G factor and Bohr magneton. Note that the Hilbert space is spanned by states of all possible combinations of spins up and down at each side. Therefore, the Pauli matrix sigma zi reads up up minus down down at side i. That's all we need to understand the second term as well. It contains the coupling of neighboring sides, a sum over all nearest neighbors, and the product of sigma matrices at side i and j. As mentioned, a positive j will favor neighboring spins to be parallel. It is now time to think of different geometries in which n sides may be arranged. In one dimension, it is a simple chain that could have free or periodic boundary conditions. The 1D Ising model is solvable with pen and paper. The solution shows that it has no phase transition. The result was reported in 1924 by Ernst Ising in his thesis. The problem was originally posed by his supervisor, Wilhelm Lenz. That's the same physicist we know from Lenz rule. In 2D, there are multiple ways to construct a lattice, which differ in the number of nearest neighbors. A simple way would be a 2D square lattice. For historic reasons, the exact solution for the 2D Ising model was given only much later, in 1944, by Lars Onsager. The Ising model in 3 and 4 dimensions is still under investigation. However, the limit of large dimensions can be described by a mean field approach. That is, one side is described in an effective field construed by the surrounding sides. The Ising model is still widely discussed, despite of its age. A reason is surely that many problems can be mapped to the Ising model. For more details on how to solve the Ising model and where it might be applied, stay tuned. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching!